We put a new book on Amazon, The Book of Mental Focus for Tennis and Life. It's supplementary to our first book of complex thinking. Our latest thing was we wrote the book of focus. It's about mental toughness and it's for players to always that wonder about how to play better. And we look at things like chapter one is about preparing, creating belief, uh, ways to beat the danker, type of proficiencies, really looking at self one versus self two, Jim Lehrer stuff, like where you know how to play but your brain gets in the way, you talk to yourself, so you become this puddle of inefficiency. We talk about how to inspire yourself and we do some exercises to visualize and work through being able to focus in the match. And then we also talk about, we go on to chapter two where it's about emotional management, where you're gonna recover, release, reset, have emotional control through planning. Um, the book is really about getting players to play without the thinking aspect. A lot of times when you watch players hitting, and they're so comfortable in practice, once the match begins, the external pressure gets to them and they can't focus. And so you want to be able to manage these issues. Too often the player will focus, focus on outside issues and you don't know how to manage like nerves that come with playing matches where people are watching you and people are giving you external pressure, your parents, your coaches, that don't agree with what you want to do in tennis. And so the first chapter is about learning how to control your own emotions and being able to focus. The second chapter, we talk about other issues like how to practice better, uh, how to deal with momentum, le learn how to control your breathing, and then working on a good schedule and having rituals. And how a ritual is basically a, a mechanism to do something over and over again. And, and that's one of the biggest things I think. You have a routine. A practice routine two months before a tournament, a month before a tournament, the week of the tournament, the day before the tournament. You create a schedule so that you really make yourself be able to play better throughout the year. And you start learning how to do a ritual before you serve, be, before you hit ground show, before you return, and what to do in terms of planning out the play out the score. Um, you really want to organize your mental process and the book's all about that. And it's a combination of all the things I've personally experienced and the literature I've read to make myself a better player. What made me a better player was teaching it. We also look at mental cues. The rituals are very specific to your own abilities and your own way of thought, but they really help you to focus your game and be able to execute under pressure. The biggest problem is executing under pressure. Any, anyone can play in practice, but in tournaments, the ability to hit the shot when it's a big point and people are watching or people are cheering. Um, the other chapters in the book talk about like positive focuses and how to have a sheet for the, a goal sheet for the season, short-term goals, long-term goals, performance goals. Short-term goals are goals that you can do within a week or two or a month, and a long-term goal is a season goal. And then your performance goals is for a match. It's something quantitative that you can do, like your feet, your footwork, your effort, your what you're planning to do with your first serve percentage, things like that. And so the book is a culmination of my many years of teaching tennis and working with students. And it's working, it's more for a junior player, but it will help the NTRP 3.0 to transition to uh, upper level 3.5. In my opinion, it's fairly easy to move from 3.0 to 3.5 as long as you become consistent and you can cut down your errors because at that level, it's all about consistency. But as you move up the levels, it gets harder. So take a, take a time, go to Amazon, check out my book, and you'll see what it's all about. If you find yourself losing to players that are not as good as you are, you hit the ball well in practice and you don't hit the ball well, ball well in matches, or you seem like you don't have a plan for the future in terms of the short-term, long-term, goals. The book's all about organizing yourself so you play better. It takes a look at the game from a psychological perspective and gives you some practical applications to plan out your schedule, to work on being able to focus, and a lot of skills that you learn in the book 
in terms of your mental game can be also used in your daily life. Because oftentimes what happens in tennis can also be duplicated. You have the pressures of life in a presentation or in a business meeting and you have to deal with pressure. And so these are, these are tricks that we teach you how to manage your emotions and how to manage your physical skills so that you can perform high level activities under, under duress, under pressure. Um, take a look at it, it's on Amazon. Um, I'm quite proud of it. It's not as long as the first book, which is 300 pages. This is like 120 pages or so. But it has more text and more ideas on how to improve your game. If you want to get better in tennis, you have to work on your mental as well as your physical and your technique. Hope it helps you and I look forward to your questions.